Did you know a single bug could take down an entire herd? Whether it's flies, ticks, or biting pests, bugs can cause diseases, infections, and stress that hurt your livestock and your wallet. But don't worry, in this video, I'll show you 12 dangerous bugs that you need to watch out for and simple ways to stop them. Stick around, because number 12 is one of the most deadly and often ignored. Let's start with one of the most dangerous pests, ticks. Ticks are tiny bloodsuckers, but don't let their size fool you. They can carry deadly diseases like babesiosis and anaplasmosis that weaken cattle, reduce milk production, and even cause death if untreated. Ticks latch onto your animal's skin and feed on their blood. Over time, this can cause anemia, weight loss, and serious stress. So what can you do? Regular tick control is key. Use dips, pour on treatments, or medicated ear tags to keep ticks off your animals. And don't forget to check your herd regularly, especially in warm, damp weather when ticks thrive. Now that we've handled ticks, let's move on to another sneaky pest that targets sheep and cattle. Next up, we have hornflies, one of the most irritating pests for cattle. These tiny flies might look harmless, but don't be fooled. A single cow can carry hundreds of hornflies at once, and each one bites up to 40 times a day. Imagine how stressful that is for your animals. Hornfly bites cause constant pain and irritation, but here's the real problem. When cattle are stressed, they eat less, gain less weight, and produce less milk. That means lower profits for you. Here's how you can fight back against hornflies. Use medicated ear tags that release insecticides over time. Clean up fresh manure where hornflies lay their eggs. Fly traps and back rubbers can also help keep fly numbers down. With a little management, you can keep these biting pests under control. Now, let's talk about a bug that turns into a real nightmare for sheep. Blowflies, a nightmare for sheep farmers. These flies are sneaky because they target dirty wool or small wounds to lay their eggs. But here's where it gets really bad. Those eggs hatch into maggots that eat away at the sheep's flesh, causing a condition called fly strike. This isn't just painful, it's life-threatening if you don't catch it in time. So, how do you stop blowflies before they strike? Keep your sheep clean and dry, especially around their tail and hind quarters. Shearing regularly reduces wool buildup where flies can lay eggs. And always check for small wounds. Treat them quickly to keep flies away. Fly strike can spread fast, but with proper care, you can protect your flock. Now, let's look at another bloodsucker that's a big problem for cattle. Stable flies, these pests are tough and relentless. Unlike other flies, stable flies deliver painful bites that can leave your livestock stressed and miserable. Their bites cause irritation, reduce weight gain, and lower milk production, but that's not all. Stable flies can spread dangerous diseases like anthrax and tularemia, putting your entire herd at risk. Here's how you can fight back. Remove manure piles and old hay where stable flies lay their eggs. Use fly traps and sticky ribbons around barns and feedlots. Fly repellents and back rubbers also work well to reduce bites. By keeping their breeding spots clean and using a few tools, you can cut down stable fly numbers and keep your animals happy. Next on our list are bot flies, a pest that causes problems inside your animals. These flies lay their eggs near the mouth, nose, or even on the skin of livestock. And here's the shocking part. The eggs hatch into larvae which burrow into the animal's body. In sheep, botfly larvae settle inside the nasal passages, making it hard for them to breathe. This condition is called a nasal bot. Animals infected with nasal bots often shake their heads, rub their noses, and even lose weight because of stress. So, what can you do to protect your livestock? Regular deworming with proper anti-parasitic treatments is the most effective way 
to control botflies. Keep a close eye on your animals, especially during warmer months when botflies are most active. Work with your vet to set up a treatment plan if you suspect an infestation. Botflies may be sneaky, but with the right management, you can keep your herd healthy and breathing easy. Next up are biting midges, tiny pests with a big bite. You might know them as noceums or sand flies, and while they're small, they cause massive problems for livestock. These pests aren't just annoying, they spread deadly diseases like blue tongue in sheep and cattle. Blue tongue can cause fever, mouth ulcers, lameness, and even sudden death in severe cases. Here's how you can protect your animals from biting midges. Remove stagnant water around your farm because midges breed in standing water. Use midge-proof mesh screens in barns and shelters to keep these pests out. Apply livestock safe repellents during midge season, especially in warm, humid climates. By keeping your farm clean and dry, you can reduce midge numbers and lower the risk of disease. Next, let's talk about a pest that poses a real danger to newborn animals, fire ants. These aggressive ants deliver painful stings that can harm livestock, especially newborns and weak animals. Fire ants are notorious for attacking vulnerable animals. Their stings cause painful welts and allergic reactions in severe cases, they can lead to death, especially if the animal can't escape. So, how can you fight fire ants? Identify and treat ant mounds around your pastures using livestock-safe ant baits. Keep vulnerable animals like newborns and sick livestock in clean, ant-free areas. Check your pastures regularly, especially after rain, when fire ants are most active. With a little vigilance, you can protect your livestock from these dangerous stingers. Now let's talk about horseflies. Large, fast, and relentless biters. Unlike smaller flies, horseflies have razor-sharp mouthparts that cut through the skin to feed on blood. And trust me, their bites aren't just painful, they're a serious problem. Here's the danger. Horseflies can transmit diseases like equine infectious anemia, EIA, in horses and anaplasmosis in cattle. Plus, the constant biting leaves animals stressed, weak, and more vulnerable to infections. So how do you stop these pests? Use fly traps and sticky ribbons to catch adult horseflies. Provide shelters or shaded areas where animals can escape during peak fly activity. Apply approved repellents and pour-ons to protect your livestock. By staying proactive, you can reduce horsefly bites and keep your animals comfortable and disease-free. Now, let's talk about one of the most terrifying pests, the flesh-eating screwworm fly. These flies lay their eggs on open wounds or cuts, and their larvae, called screwworms, feed on the living flesh of your animals. This isn't just painful, it's life-threatening. Screwworm infestations can cause severe infections, tissue damage, and if untreated, even death. So, how do you stop these horrifying pests? Regularly check your animals for wounds or cuts and treat injuries immediately. Use fly repellents and wound sprays to prevent flies from laying eggs. If you suspect screwworm infestations, call a vet immediately. This requires professional treatment. Early detection is key because screwworm flies can spread quickly and cause massive losses. Next up are blister beetles, small insects with a dangerous secret. These beetles produce a toxin called cantharidin, which can poison your livestock if they accidentally eat them in contaminated hay. Here's the danger. Even a small number of blister beetles can release enough cantharidin to cause severe poisoning especially in horses, cattle, and sheep. Symptoms include drooling, abdominal pain, and in extreme cases, kidney failure. Here's how you can protect your animals. Inspect alfalfa hay carefully for blister beetles before feeding it to livestock. Source hay from trusted suppliers 
who follow proper harvesting practices. Avoid crushing hay during harvest, as that can release toxins from hidden beetles. Blister beetles may be small, but the damage they cause is serious. Staying vigilant about your hay supply is the best way to protect your livestock. Let's talk about sheep kids. Wingless, blood-sucking parasites that live in sheep's wool. They look like small, flat flies, but they behave more like ticks, feeding on blood and causing constant irritation. Their bites cause itching, wool damage, and even led to anemia in severe cases. Plus, their presence can lower the value of wool, leaving farmers with economic losses. Here's how you can fight sheep keds. Shear sheep regularly to remove keds and their eggs. Treat your flock with approved insecticides or pour on treatments during shearing. Quarantine and treat any new animals before introducing them to your flock. With proper management, you can eliminate sheep keds and keep your flock healthy and comfortable. Finally, let's talk about mosquitoes, tiny pests that pack a deadly punch. Their bites are irritating, but the real danger is the diseases they can transmit to your livestock. Mosquitoes spread diseases like West Nile virus, equine encephalitis, and heartworm, which can cause fever, neurological issues, and even death. They're especially dangerous to horses, cattle, and sheep. So how do you fight mosquitoes? Eliminate standing water where mosquitoes breed, like puddles, troughs, and old containers. Use mosquito repellents and protective gear, like fly sheets, for horses. Install fans or screens in barns to keep mosquitoes away from sheltered animals. By reducing breeding grounds and using protective measures, you can limit mosquito bites and keep your animals safe from deadly diseases. As you've seen, these 12 pests can cause irritation, illness, and even death if not managed properly. But with regular inspections, proper treatments, and preventative measures, you can protect your livestock and your farm. Stay vigilant, take action early, and your animals will thrive. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and share for more tips on keeping your livestock healthy.